because yes i will continue and okay carry on okay go ahead go ahead carry on i'll listen at least i hope i explain so, something okay so uh in the figure 2.5 we will have the structure of graphene excuse me of graphite uh, yeah. The reason I am bringing it here is because I don't know what will be the structure of the copper nanolayers. I'm assuming that could be squares because copper crystalline structure is cubical. So as I didn't know what is the real one, I was I was putting this figure it's about a spherical. The it's spherical. Spherical. <coughs> okay. It's still a spherical. So. Basically, when we are doing our nanolayers, we will have this kind of uh, well, spheres, let's say, yeah. with a specific distance between them. Yeah. We will calculate and uh, we'll see the real distance. This is 0 0.67 nanometers. Mm -hmm. And all this introduction was because in, uh, in figure 2.6, they are seeing, based on your definition, what plasma is. So we have a field, magnetic field, of an arbitrary one unit, whatever that will be. And the second field that is traveling in the same direction with it will be one unit minus an electron, as per your definition. So now, coming back to the theory... Uh, minus one electron, where does the electron come in? No, you said that in order to have a plasma, the two magnetic fields have to, their strengths have to be different with at least the strength of magnetic field of one electron. Yes. If, so now it's coming the question. Uh, in the hydrogen atom, right? Yeah. We know how to calculate the magnetic field strength of one electron. Yeah. But now if you pull out the electron from the atomic hydrogen, uh, we don't have, how to say, cyclo rotation or something like this around the proton, it's probably just traveling linearly or however it's traveling. So we it are going to need... Respect. No, 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 wait, wait. It travels, it rotates in respect to the other plasmas in, in the vicinity. And when you, when you in the, in a Gans state, you do not extract the electron, you add the plasma of the electron into the plasma of the proton. It's a, so it's right. not a reduction. Okay, so we are clear in that. Yes, I understand that. But uh, this uh, example I was giving is that if we have two magnetic fields in order to have a plasma, we need to have a, how to say, a gradient difference between them. Yeah. With yeah. the amount of fine electrons. So, coming back to the previous figure, 2.5, let's say if we know that we have two layers of uh, graphene or whatever, carbon, or let's say we have a distance of 0. Point whatever is 67, yeah. let me see, yes, 0. 0.67 uh, nanometer, that means supposedly we have two electric currents in each, each uh, layer. We need to you don't have an electric current, you have a gravitational magnetic plasmatic current. It's a big difference. It's a huge difference. We've seen this with um, Dr. Ivan last week. He connected the nano layer into a meter, and then he said, as I push them, my current goes higher, and then it gets to a point I cannot get there. And I explained to him that, as you push the layers, you release the energy in the plasmatic magnetic field in the layers, and then it comes, you cannot crush it anymore. So, the field is gravitational plasmatic, not electron or protonic. It's a big difference. 